We the brown boys. The brown boys. The brown boys. We the brown boys. The brown boys. We the brown boys. Real quick. Let's go to Club Shay Shay. It's a part in the video that I want to talk about. It's a part in a damn club. Shay Shay done broke down all them motherfuckers. Boy, look here. <laughs> Where the original video at? Monique on Oprah. And she had a whole segment on Oprah. Man. I told y'all, hey, he, she damn sure called out Oprah. Uh-huh. I know she finna get a lot of back, uh, backlash for talking about Oprah. That's like a god to these women. Monique, you can't talk about Oprah. It's going to be girls hitting up Monique. Bitch, she got more money than you. This is this and this and that. You don't know what the hell you talking about, Monique. You just mad. You just bitter. You fat. And I'm, I'm be thinking like when I see them women do that, I'm like, damn, she a black woman. She a black woman. I thought y'all said respect all black women. But the moment there's a black woman that you like that she's talking about, then all that shit go out the window. It ain't no more respect all women. That is the biggest situation that let me know it's all about who we like. Because with us dudes, we'll do anything for some vagina and some money. We'll do anything for some vagina. We'll turn coat our best friend. Some of us, not all of us. Most of our fights is involving a woman or behind a woman. So yeah, dudes, we just, we simple. We're straightforward. Women, money. We've been doing that since the beginning. We have to learn not to do that from a woman. But I want y'all to listen to what Miss Monique said. And I want y'all to listen to what Shannon Sharp replies were. Monique was just talking about being honest. Like, do you understand the severity of what this woman is saying that this woman is about to do? She's about to blame a whole innocent child on another individual. And it's not his responsibility, but we've been trained to keep our mouth shut. And he just a man, man up, overlooking the fact that that's the worst thing you could do to a man. That's the worst thing you could do to a child. To lie to him or her about who their father is. But watch how easy Shannon Sharp was like, oh, no, that ain't your business. You're supposed to keep that to yourself. And that's supposed to be what a real friend is. The whole the secrets of your bullshit. Now watch what Monique say. What you tell? I told I told Andre that that was not Lamar's baby. You get what you seeing right now, baby. They still wanted to do it, but seeing her let me say, okay, it's possible. It's right there. Right. What was Monique like as a little girl? What you seeing right now, baby? Ain't nothing. <laughs> so you always... I just got listen. Let me tell you something. A lot of people in this industry don't like me, right? Yeah. They didn't like me as a little girl, Shannon. I'm so used to this shit. People didn't <laughs> like me because I was gonna tell it. I'm right. going to tell. I'm going to tell on you. Right. So what you said right now is the same thing you're getting. They tried to fight my ass in the twelfth grade, Shannon. And they surrounded me. Right. A group of them. Okay. Wanted to fight on me. Why? Because I told the truth. What you tell? I told. I told Andre that that was not Lamar's baby. Because oh, I told God, Andre, oh, that's what Lamar. That ain't your place. Let me tell. Wait a minute, uh, sugar. You gonna calm yourself down? <laughs> okay. Do you see Shannon losing herself with me? <laughs> you gotta back that up, Shannon. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Okay. Okay. I'm a person for right. 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 Mm -hmm. And if you tell me something and you say, Monique, I've done something to somebody, but don't say nothing. Shannon, I'm going to need you to fix that, because if you don't fix it, I'm going to have to tell that because it's wrong. So when she tells me this is not his baby, but I'm going to tell him it's his baby. I can't let you do that. That's not right. Wow. So what I stand for is right. And, and I think where we run into a problem in our community, mm -hmm. in our group, we get so caught in, well, that's not your place, but you see wrong happening, right? Mm -hmm. So when you see wrong happening, what you do? Do you just stand back and say, that ain't my business? Or do you look and say, well, I knew that wasn't his baby, now the baby 21 years old and he's trying to find his father. Mm -hmm. What you gonna do? I'm asking you, what you gonna do? Well, honestly, Monique, if somebody say, well, Shannon, I'm gonna tell you something and I'm gonna tell you this in confidentiality and I don't wanna go any further than me, you and this table. Yes. It stays with me, him and the table. Well, let me say this, because I'm gonna go, then that shows that, and no offense, but that shows that Shannon Sharp doesn't really have a moral compass. 
that that see uh, that shows even though this show is a great show i know why he's there any injustice he won't say nothing he'll turn his head to the wrong he'll turn his head to somebody being done wrong remember when i told y'all when it first when i first came out i said for the right amount of money people will turn their head to anything some of the most egregious things you can think of if they get paid by the right person all they gotta do is come to them in confidentiality you heard what he said if someone comes to me in confidentiality no matter what they say to him he ain't gonna say nothing even psychiatrists if you go to them and you tell them most things are confidential but if you tell them that you harm somebody in a certain way you killed somebody they're gonna go tell on you they have to but old shannon sharp said that it's hey i'm just trying to show you how loyal i am no matter what you tell me it's gonna stay with me that sounds like evil to me i'm sorry the show is doing great no disrespect to the show but personally i think that's what's wrong with society right there we got too many people turning the other cheek and then when somebody comes out and tell the truth hey it came to me in confidentiality so if somebody came to him in confidentiality and say i like little girls he not gonna say nothing because it was confidential if somebody came to him in confidentiality and say i like little boys he not gonna tell because that person came to him in confidentiality and they're powerful and they're wealthy and they're in the industry like that don't make no sense that's the problem what's going on in society right now that's why you can have little girls uh in their neighborhood or at their uh in their families that the uncle and the person the cousin who molested them still get to come to the cookout they be right there in front of them smiling hey girl how you doing and they tell the little girl they quiet the girl down they skip past the person who do something wrong in society today and tell you hey 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 this happens to everybody just take it just take it just take it that, that, you know be quiet he got money be quiet i got a job that's the good cousin he just made a mistake and hollywood is way worse back and forth with your ass okay i would say before you tell me did you hurt somebody okay yes before you tell me is this something that would make me question your character before you tell me you got to be clear about what you get ready to tell me because if you're getting ready to tell me something and i know that you've done something wrong i know that you're wrong and i not say anything that's why people are allowed to keep harming people for years to come see harvey weinstein yes well there's a lot of people that knew what was happening but they felt it wasn't their place it wasn't, it wasn't them right until it becomes you so I think the moment we get into a space and I was in the 11th grade at the time. Right. Okay. But when we get into a space where we say, listen, if I know you're doing wrong and I take a position, that's not my place. Eventually you will succumb to what you support. What was your relationship with the young lady that told you this in confidentiality? I'm you not going to focus on, I was in 11th grade. Now I'm 56. But when she told me, I told her, I'm going to tell. See, I'm that. I'm going to tell him what you said. So we clear. I'm going to tell him what you said because that's not right. Oh my goodness, Mo. See, I think that's the problem that we're dealing with. Look at Shannon. Oh my goodness, Mo. Oh, your goodness, Mo. What about the little boy that's growing up looking like another man and this other man that's thinking that's his son and when you take him to his mama and he proud and then you take him to his brother and have him call this little boy nephew. And then they running around buying stuff for this dude, this little baby. And they happy because that's his first son. And it turned out that ain't his. What do you think that do to that boy, that man, mental stability? What you think it do to the other guy financially? What do you think it do to him mentally? But you don't give a fuck because it's a man. No, this is not hating. This is my honest opinion. I don't, I think Monique was absolutely right. There's something wrong like that. More women need to be like that. That is the absolute right thing to do. You don't let no young man have to go through 
the wrong situation. I hope they make sure that they mandate all through all throughout America that is mandatory DNA test. That is horrible what you do to men and get them connected to a child. And then some of these women be like, oh, shit, I don't give a fuck. It, it ain't yours, but you still should have raised them. Be a man. Like, are you fucking nuts? Don't nobody wake up with the ideal of raising somebody else's kid. I want to have my seed. I want to be proud of my son or my daughter. You ain't supposed to trick me into raising your kid. Are you crazy? I want y'all to hear it again. To be the truth. However, we get so caught up in, well, I ain't going to say nothing. Right. Well, can you believe he said it? Or can you? Or it's the messenger. It's the messenger, baby. We get so caught up in the messenger that we'll overlook the message. People have a hard time hearing a five foot five giant tell the truth. People have a hard time with a black woman over 200 pounds tell the truth because people that look like us, mm -hmm. we should just be grateful. We got invited to the party. Right, we right. should just be grateful that someone paid us attention. I've dealt with that my whole life. I've dealt with that. Mm -hmm. So when you get to a space where you say, listen, I want to be free. I want to be free. Mm -hmm. I don't want to walk around intimidated, scared, fearful. What might happen? What they going what's, what they going to say? What they going to do? If it's your story and it's the truth, tell it. Because what you can do is be in a position to prevent it happening to someone else over and over and over again. So if I go back to the 11th grade with that sister who's no longer with us, rest, rest her with that sister, I would do that again. Because if you tell me something and we know it's wrong, mm -hmm. but you're going to pin that on somebody else, is that right? No, it's not right. And what would you? No, it's not right. All right, then. Do what's right. Well, we all talk from back in the day to do what's right. We got a whole group of people trying to live by a street culture of no snitching, no telling. Yeah, that's morally wrong. You got a child in this situation. There's a lot of situations that's dead ass wrong. We don't say nothing. You right there at work with some you know ain't shit. You don't say nothing. You don't say nothing because you don't want you don't want somebody to say something about you. You don't want to get into it with nobody at work. You just want to do your job. It ain't got nothing to do with you. But you know they destroying somebody else. And you don't say nothing, so you complicit. Your Aunt Mary do. <laughs> Man, Bo D got swear, Bo You're not answering my question. What would your Aunt Mary do? Well, she gonna tell it because she's gonna tell anything anyway. So yeah. <laughs> okay. they probably okay. don't have to tell her. But that's why you love our Mary yeah. because our Mary kept it in check. Yeah. Even though you didn't want to tell her, right. she was gonna tell that baby. You know that's not your daddy. Right. We're not gonna play like that. You love our Mary. I do. Mm -hmm. Um, the unique. And I love what Monique did. Monique brought him back to how he was raised. I think a lot of people are forgetting how you was raised. Most of these thugs. I don't know a thug that was raised to be a thug. I'm going to get on camera to say this. I don't know a thug that was raised to be a thug. Most thugs grew up in the church. Their mama had them in the church. They sung in the choir. Some of these dudes are the most educated, respectful dudes. They just chose a lifestyle based on the neighborhood, based on the culture. Your mama didn't raise you to be a thug. Your grandma didn't raise you to be a thug. Most of y'all was raised up under some of the strictest rules of these old school mothers. And y'all know that slap in the back of the head was coming on anything you did wrong. But now all of a sudden, y'all don't know how to act. Now all of a sudden, somebody can't point out what's right and what's wrong. We'll walk past somebody getting their ass triple team, stumped out. We won't say, oh man, get that man a fair one. God damn, don't do him like that. He black, he black out you. Y'all break this shit up. Get that little nigga a fair one. Come on now. That's what the OGs used to do. See a kid, see three kids jumping on one. Hey, hey it's okay. Y'all got to work this out. But hey, one on one. Get that man is one on one. We scared of the kids. We don't say nothing because we scared we're going to get shot. But we supposedly got OGs. They must be young as hell because that's who the real OG, the young nigga. But that's sad. Monique is bringing him back to listen, this wasn't how you were raised. The way that you're moving and acting, the space that you're moving in, you learned that from somewhere. You might have done been out here too long because back where you from, you was taught right and wrong. That's all you had. 
So, so salute to uh, Mo for getting them in check on that regard. 